Hello everyone and welcome to Zedlow's Kitchen. I am joined with Nina today again. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So what are we making today? Well, I thought we would make some stuffed chicken breasts. Oh, okay. okay. Um, you can stuff them with whatever you like. You can stuff them with ham, cheese, you can stuff them with um, just cheese, uh, however you want to stuff them. You can stuff them with the actual stuffing, too. You can actually stuff them with a spinach artichoke dip, too. Correct, correct. What I am going to stuff ours with is a mixture of cream cheese and chives and a little bit of bacon. So, could you please open the cream cheese for of me course. and we'll put it in the bowl? Yep. We are using two packs of cream cheese. And the reason being is because um, I found out that if you have extra, man, it's good on a bagel. Toast the bagel, spread it on a bagel, spread it on English muffin, have it with your eggs for breakfast. It's delicious. You even put it on crackers. Oh, there you go. So, we've got two things of cream cheese. Then I have some green onions that I'm going to chop. Very thin here. Yes. Very thin. And. Very thin. Very thin. Now, I'm using oh, a bunch of onions. I got like seven onions here. Reason being is because we like the onion flavor. Yes. So. Even though we could, probably could have just used onion, onion seasoning. Oh, this, just kidding. This is true. You, oh, I bet you, you could. That would be good. Yeah. Um, we are. She's using both the whites and the green. Oh, definitely. So don't skimp away. Yeah, no, don't skimp them away. So take that. Right. Put it in the bowl. Are you seasoning this with anything? Um, I usually, oh yeah, just a little bit of uh, garlic powder. Yeah, I'm going to grab the garlic powder. So, there's a couple of onions there. Let me chop the rest. We like onions, so we put in onion. But that's up to you. If you want to only put in three onions, put in three onions. I got seven. But I also have two packages of cream cheese also, so you have to remember that. We've got to balance that out. You cut them how thin you want. I like them a little thinner because it makes more, it gives it more flavor. Flavor, flavor. Plus, it's probably easier to stuff the chicken. Yeah. Um, well, we'll get to the chicken. I don't like that one. Smells good already. Smells good. One of these days, I'm going to grow my own green onions. Which are very easy to do. How come mine always seem to fizzle out? That I don't know. Alrighty, Rooney. So, got all these onions chopped up. Throw them in there. Throw them in the bowl. Okay. Are so, those ones not good? No, I'm going to dump those pieces. Or eat them. Mm. Okay, so. Delicious. Dash a little garlic powder and in there. You tell me when to stop. Well, get some out. Okay, we're good there. Okay, okay. so. I, you could just, and all you have to do, just mix this, okay? I'm going to use the mixer. Because we had it out already. Because I already had it out. So I'm just going to use the mixer and mix this all together. Make sure it's well incorporated. Definitely. Make sure your cream cheese is soft. Um, because I notice if it's not soft enough, then it's not going to mix well. And you're going to have chunks of um, cream cheese that don't have any onion or flavor in there. It's just like as if you were baking. Correct. Now make sure the butter is soft, making sure right. the ingredients are room temperature. Get it all 
incorporated in there. Looks good. Simple and easy to stuff it. Okay, so let's get all this out of the beaters. Raise your beaters. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, all mixed in. Yeah. All mixed. Now I'm going to do some cheating here, so. It's not really cheating. I have pre-cooked bacon. She loves this stuff. That's because sometimes it's easier. But you know, when you work full time and you only have so much time to do things. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Otherwise, I would cook bacon. But I'm just going to take two pieces. And I'm not going to, you just really warm it in the micro for like mm, a minute or so. I start with a minute because if you put it on three minutes right away, it might get too crispy. So I started on a minute, check it if it needs a little more, and then I just keep going. I'm not going to do that because we're going to. Oh, we're going to chop it up. We're going to chop it up and put it in there also. Oh, that's new. So it'll give it a smoky flavor. Mm, yeah, it smells smoky. It smells good. So it smells like. Again, you could buy a pound of bacon, cook it yourself, and do this. But I'm doing it this way because, again, like I said, I always easier. Have, it's easier and I only get so much time to spend with my family. Because I do work full time, you know. We all work. Right. So I cut corners on some things. And that's okay. Yeah. Okay. So I just did a little rough chop on the bacon here. And then I'm just going to incorporate it in. Just like that. Like that. Let's give it another mix. Get it all mixed in there. Consistency on the cream cheese. Good. Good. Okay. There you go. Your filling is mixed. You know, if you added the Budding's corned beef and a little Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, you've got a cheese ball. Look at that. Crackers. Appetizer, perfect. Simple and easy. Yeah. And you know what? That's an old fashioned cheese ball. Nowadays, if you go and look for cheese ball recipes, there's all kinds of them. I like the old fashioned one. I'm sure there is. It's simple. Couple ingredients, boom, and it tastes delicious. Yeah. And our holidays, when we have holidays and we have the family over, I have to make two, sometimes three cheese balls. That's how big cheese ball people they are. And it goes. It's good. Okay, so I have three huge chicken breasts. Big, thick chicken breasts. Mm. To me, if I left it like this and cooked it, it would taste rubbery. Okay? So I'm going to cut it. Now, you could do this one of two ways. You can make a slit down here and stuff it in that way. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to slice it this way. Try and slice it even. Now, I'm not a professional, so. She's not a professional. Not a professional. I just do this for fun. You. What? No, go. See? Look at that. I am going to make two pieces out of it. Okay, she's making two pieces out of it. Two pieces out of one breast. So I'll have six pieces of 
breast. That should be plenty. Um, could you grab me something else? Yes. Could you grab me a, another cutting board or another dish or something I can throw the pieces on? Yeah, of course. This way. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pound them out. I'm going to take this and put it in some um, saran wrap. And we're going to pound it out. And we're going to pound it out. I do have a pounder. If you don't have a pounder, use a pan. It's a little noisy. But Take out your anger. Yeah, go right ahead. Get your frustrations out on the chicken. Try not to. Okay, so now see? Look how big it got. That's see. our piece of chicken. Do the same to the other one. <laughs> Are you mad at somebody? Carefully though. don't want to make it too, too thin because how I'm going to do this is I'm going to roll them off. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so piece number Okay, two. so we pounded out our chicken breast, have our filling. So what I'm going to do is take a breast, okay, lay it flat. 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 Flat, like a pancake. And do you season Take the some, chicken? Ooh, yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you always season it? Um, with? just a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder is good. Unless you want something else on there. No, that's fine. Here. And you want a little bit of pepper? No. Okay. Just a little bit because you know. All the flavor is going to be all the in flavor. this. Oops. You have all the flavor in there, so I'm just going to season just a little tiny bit. And then we got the saltiness from the bacon as well. Correct. Onion powder. And I don't use, um, because of the onion in that, I don't use the garlic salt. I use powder. Okay, back Take to what we spoon. were doing. Okay. Stick some in there. Stick some in there. Okay. That's going to be my spreader spoon. Glob. Yes. Here. You know what but I'm again, not. use this spoon. Don't touch the chicken. Just spread it with another spoon. Gotta scoot this up. Okay, so this is the easy part. Now we'll get to the hard part. Okay, so you can yeah. season your chicken with whatever you want yeah, to. Yeah, you don't have to. I just do it like this. Because, like I said, all the flavor is really in here. So, then you start to roll, and you roll, and it's very difficult to roll. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have these ginormous toothpicks that I'm just going to stick in there like that, okay? Just to hold it for a moment. Mm. Then you take your bacon, again, I'm taking the shortcut. Okay. I will tell you, if you put uncooked baking, bacon wrapped around here, you will have to throw it under the broiler in order to crisp that bacon. 
if I wasn't using this and I had regular bacon, I would pop it in the microwave and let it cook a little bit before I put it on here. So we're going to take our bacon, we're going to wrap it around the chicken, like yay, and stick in the toothpick. I bought the big giant toothpick so it goes through and holds it in. Okay. May I have some more bacon, please? Yes. I start underneath. Just wrap it around. This bacon's kind of short, so we're going to do two pieces like yay. Give me the toothpick. Stick it through like so. Now, give me another piece of bacon. So what I'm trying to do is make the bacon go this way too. Okay, a piece of bacon. Try and get the ends. You want to stick a toothpick in there? Okay, Let's see if we can make it come out this end. You want the other toothpick or this? That one. Perfect. Just make sure you remove these toothpicks before you eat. There we go. And then I'm going to put it in the pan. Now, you could, if you want, put some breadcrumbs on there. I don't bother with that. I just put it in there like that. And why don't you bother with that? Because I like it better without. Okay. So again. And because these are pretty big chicken breasts. It's probably why it's hard to roll them. Yes. It is. And to close them up. If you were to use thick, like normal chicken breasts, that should be fine, but I feel like these were... These were ginormous chicken yeah. breasts. I mean... So, just keep that in mind. Looks good. Do you have more bacon? Oh, yes, I have another package in the fridge. Okay, so again, spread it out. Wipe your hands. Okay, let's do that for right now. That's two. I will show you what I'm going to do with the butter. So I'm going to take just a, this is new to me. a little tab of butter. Okay. And I'm just going to put Just put a little tab of butter. A little tab of butter on top. Of each? Yeah. Or Ta you can put it on the, on the pan. There you go. I'm even going to put some in here. Okay. 
Okay, and then what I'm going to do is cover them up with foil, pop them in the oven at about 350. Uh, check them after a half hour, if not about 45 minutes. You will have your dinner. So we're going to do that. We're going to pop them in, get a side ready, and we'll be back to taste them. We'll be back. All right. So our chicken is out of the oven. Looks good. Look at this. The bacon is crispy. Mm, the juice from the butter. Okay. Do you have a particular one in mind? No. Just grab one. Okay. Just grab one. Again, be careful of the toothpicks. I've also got some cheesy rice. Some biscuits in the oven. Good? Mm -hmm. See? Success! So, stuffed chicken breast with some cheesy rice. Got some biscuits in the oven. They're not quite done yet. And you have a meal fit for a king. Mm. That mixture. It's good. Delish. So again. You taste the chives, you taste the cream cheese. Bacon. I mean, you get a hint of bacon, but you also get the bacon on top. So, mm -hmm. delish. You try it. I am. I can eat this all day. Mmm. 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 Mm. The chicken's not dry. No, it's not. It's tender. Almost died. It's <laughs> it's tender and it's juicy. That's another reason why the cream cheese seems to keep in the moisture, the chicken, the moisture in the chicken. So it won't dry out on you. Unless, of course, you'll leave it in for hours and burn it, but otherwise the chicken won't dry out. Do you know from experience? Maybe I do. Oh. Let's try mm. this rice. Mm. Mm. Very good. I think this is a successful meal. This is. This is delicious. Okay. Mm. Well, thanks for joining us today. You need to go and try cream cheese stuffed chicken breast. Yep. Mm. Delish. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.